Are you serious? Hello, this is How To Kill An Hour. My name is Marcus Bronzy. There's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you in advance for killing some time with us. Right now, I am sitting in a Mustang with my boy, Gadget Boy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I'm good, Gadget Boy. Welcome, Gadget Boy, to the show. Uh, yeah, man, I'm really, really good, man. Um, we've had a cool couple of days, right? Yeah, man. It's been uh, epic. Yeah, so I think we should just talk through it on the way back. Right, right now, we're on the Eurostar back to the UK, but a couple of days ago, uh, we were meant to leave at like 11... <laughs> 11... Was it 11 or 12 at night on a, on a, on a Tuesday 11, night? 11. Yeah, 11 on a Tuesday night. We were meant to meet each other and then a quick last minute change of schedule meant that uh, we promised that we were going to link up at four at yours. But I got halfway to yours, forgot my passport, zinged home, then got back to yours. You weren't even awake. Man, my, my alarm just didn't go off because <laughs> my phone did an update yeah. overnight. And uh, luckily, <laughs> you knocked on the door. Otherwise, I yeah. was gone yeah so you like stuck your head out the window and then luckily we had um, a flexi pass I want to say if you ever travel to France I 100% recommend that you the listener does that flexi pass thing with, with Eurotunnel because it just means that like that we, we blatantly missed what if we were to book a specific time we would have missed it twice yeah potentially three times and then when we got in we got in with like what t- like 10 minutes before we literally got yeah. here yeah. and straight on straight on and then we were in France just in um, time but yeah so um, but we had a nice time riding down to, to Dover uh, Folkestone because Ford asked us to head over to Le Mans and they gave us let's just describe what we're in they gave us this 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 beast this piece of muscle Ford Mustang GT GT drop top it's a 5 litre V8 engine yep uh, what 450 brake horsepower 450 yeah, 450 it's <laughs> yes it's 4, 453 brake horsepower slightly less than the American version I think the they, bullet yeah the, yeah, 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 yeah that was like yeah oh. we'll get onto that in a sec that was sick but this is right it's like what is it like leather interior it's a drop top leather interior this is um, fully packed though it's got all yeah. the tech in there as well yeah like infotainment system it's got that as well Bang, um, Ol- Bang and Olufsen yeah B.O. Yeah. Um, speaker I think this is a 12 speaker edition right yeah I think it's got a thousand watts of speakers in it yeah yeah and, uh, we've it, been sounds, it sounds really good bumping Skepta on the way down yeah, here man. as well especially so. when you put, it, put, put the drum and bass on it was just oh, yeah, the, the sub was, yeah the sub was kicking was doing bits um, and it's like I don't know the name of the blue we've got a bit of paperwork somewhere I don't actually say what colour the blue they are here we go so this blue is has it got the colour on it but it's how would you desc- how would you desc- oh, there you go velocity blue velocity blue velocity mm. blue and it it's not I mean when I looked at the picture I was a little bit like eh, it doesn't look that exciting but it's kind of like halfway between it's like a exciting blue but with metallic in it so it's like a bright blue yeah but not like a tacky race blue no 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 it's, it's got, yeah I think it's nice yeah and, it and it, depending on the lighting that you've got as well it kind of reflects the light so when it's yeah. nice and bright outside it just looks nice and bright it does it looks and real good at night time it looks like a street sleeper it's just kind of like you're sleeping yeah you know, yeah, gen I like to that. Gen two. I like giant, that. You know, but even if you're not into cars, because I'm not. I think when it comes to cars, I think you're a bit more into cars than me. But somebody, somebody cars. who's not like a car fanatic, when we started this up, it sounds. Like, yeah, like one sounds of, amazing. One of the bits of tech in it that it's got, it's got its active exhaust system. Yeah. And um, what does that actually mean? So I think what it does. So what Ford do is they spend a lot of time making sure that their cars sound good, right? As well as looking good so it's a it's a v8 engine so it's a sick engine five liter like you said it's got a lot of power in it so really with this exhaust system they kind of guide the sound of the engine so that it sounds raw but i feel like they didn't have to do as much with this because it's a sick big meaty engine anyway but yeah yeah what it's good for the active exhaust means you can set different exhaust settings i think if you press the horse button there you go um, yeah, if you press the horse, yeah. then you got exhaust mode, track apps available yeah. as well. We'll get onto that in a sec. What's the exhaust mode? So you can have quiet, no, like quiet mode, so that if you want to take like drive out from your yard, like yeah. when I was at your house, I forgot to put on quiet mode. I can't like sound it very very loud. So if you want to get up at, like and leave the house at like seven a.m., definitely not going to wake up the whole yard. Mm-hmm. Uh, sport and racetrack where it just 
takes the dampening out things of the sound. get a bit louder yeah it's gonna get it's gonna get louder yeah. in like fact that. if you stick around <laughs> the podcast we'll, we'll play the car starting up yeah yeah there's actually Dude. a quiet start as well yeah oh rather, that's good yeah rather than quiet quiet exhaust mode so it's a quiet start so it starts up and sounds like a normal car yeah um so what's the difference between the quiet start and quiet so quiet start is just for when you, you start yeah so and then quiet start. is just for when you drive in you yeah yeah because if you if you start it now if you turn off your car and start it it starts off as normal yeah yeah but if you have quiet start it always remembers to set everything to quiet because when it starts up you can literally feel it's it it's not bad cool, um, cool so yeah we've got this cool last car it's a drop top um, so we rode it down to Le Mans what do you think the driver was like down to France <laughs> How was it, it was <laughs> I mean I didn't drive much but yeah it was uh, it was smooth. I yeah, man. We just, I just sat there. It was comfortable. Yeah, man. But when I did drive it, it feels well planted on the road. Yeah, man. Uh, when you're taking corners, you can deal with confidence mm. uh, without having to worry about uh, oversteer or understeer. In fact, um, yeah, man. He just he was good around the corners, around the bends, so even yeah. at high speeds Me. on the motorway. It was it was nice. Yeah. Not a lot of cars can give you that sort of com- level of confidence. I've been in cars before, like the uh, some Audi SUVs, yeah. where not the non-sports version where you go around corners and you're thinking what well, is it is he gonna do it is Stop it gonna heavy. do it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, yeah this is nice yes it's actually surprised me because I remember going to the launch event for this car yeah when it was coming to the UK and I was just like I'm not sure I'm not sure if I would buy one yeah but I think after this trip I would actually buy one but yeah. it'd have to be the full whack like this you can't you can't get this and not go fully loaded yeah it's just a waste of time fully loaded full yeah. monty um yeah but it begs the question though 50 grand 50 50 50 50 grand 51 grand 51 yeah. grand <laughs> what what options do i have do i put extra money and get myself an audi tt rs yeah or yeah. you know there are or, options would you go for an suv like do you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. you're around that price range some people yeah want to go for a, a car that you can fit more than a couple of people in because there's a bit of space in the back but what's yeah. my phone it's a bit of space in the back but yeah. once we've put it, this, this is not this is not really, practical at yeah, all. it's not, not it's, you don't yeah. buy this car to be practical though so exactly. Um, exactly and i'm quite impressed with the fuel consumption as well i think we filled up what twice filled up twice yeah I yeah think, for the whole trip do you think that the fuel when we were dwindling and driving driving along little windy roads slowly yeah. it was less efficient than when we were tearing it up on the on the motorway when we were on the motorway and we got going yeah like, I, I don't know there, we didn't do a lot of starting and stopping yeah, yeah. Um, but I still think it's quite efficient for a yeah, V8 man. it's not bad 5 litre V8 engine apparently you get 30 miles to the gallon yeah we, we right ain't get, <laughs> we ain't yeah, right. get, get that and I also uh, like the fact that the exhaust to the back are actually real exhaust yeah they're not f- None of that fake tailpipe stuff like yeah. stop it yeah, yeah. There's, they're the real deal in fact it's, it's sick the actual the way that they have been synthetic, synthetic with the exhaust is to make them quieter yeah <laughs> no, it's nice. um, yeah a little head turner lo- a, a few people are asking a few people us, what a weird question before we got in the, in the on the train now as well. oh Someone yeah did, boarding the train yeah. someone's like how much you pay for that <laughs> and uh, you said nothing it's just, just like <laughs> nothing <laughs> and it's like oh yeah. it's got it's sick colour and everything yeah. I was just like yeah. All right, man. Like, chill. All right, chill out, bro. Uh, so yeah, Ford asked us to come down to Le Mans, so we drove down. I did quite a bit of driving on the way down. It was cool, man. Just put on some tunes. Yeah. A lot of Skepta got played on the way down, um, and then some slow jams while you're sleeping. Yeah, and man. Then, um, that was up, good. Pulled up at our chateau, the chateau. I forgot the name of it, but it was a nice our chateau. Took some pictures of the car as well, which are good. Like, um, check Gadgets Boys Insta as well, like, and mine as well. We put some sick pictures up. Uh, landed, got fresh. And then headed over to see the qualifying for Le Mans. Yeah. It's my first Le Mans. Was it yours as well? My first one as well. The first day was... The weather was a bit rubbish, but yeah. we still made the most of it, I think. Yeah. Um, we, we were tired. Yeah. Um, and it, it wasn't that busy the first day. Yeah. Uh, but the second day was a lot busier and the sun was out. Yeah, was, the sun it, was out. It got a whole lot busier. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, then we, we drove some cars. We did. Oh, we did. But, but before that, how, how comes when you're at Le Mans the, the cars look like they're going really fast like far I, I know it doesn't it's not the case but it feels like they look they're going faster than F1 cars yeah for some you reason and I, yeah, I was yeah. like yeah like they look like they're the, the reason why the moment why I noticed was uh, me trying to take some photos yeah and I've been to when I did F1 in Monaco it was easier to to track the car with my camera like just following yeah. the car and getting my shots but here I struggled yeah. a little bit because by the time I like tracked the car the car was just gone yeah. just like phew gone yeah, it's crazy like crazy off key but yeah so we I mean, got to go in the pits that was kind of cool to see yeah. them working on stuff yeah, yeah. Uh, eating some of that nice food as well that they put on for the drivers drivers eat well at Le Mans innit 
They have to, Good man. Food. They have to drive. It's, it's an endurance race. Yeah. They need food. They need rest well. yeah. when they can. Yeah, so um, um, that yeah. was pretty cool. And then, yeah, like you said, we did some more driving. So not only did we get to drive this sick GT Mustang down, we woke up on the second day and yeah. in front of the Chateau de Chateau. The Chateau. The Chateau. There was <laughs> six bullets there and like to put it put it into a bit of his, uh, historical uh well it's just to put it in order for you the bullet car was a a debadged version from a film called bullet so there was this detective called frank bullet or something like that uh and i think the film won like a grammy for for editing because of and i think part of it, the, it winning the grammy this is like a 50 year old film because of a, a car chase scene in it where they were like a bullet doing jumps skidding around exhaust sounded sick and they've kind of tried to give you an updated version with this car here mm-hmm. and I, I can't lie this wasn't my first time in one because a few weeks ago I got to because for the John Wick experience that Sony were kind of doing uh, sorry not Sony uh, Lionsgate were doing they invited me down to go and do sit in a car with this guy called Paul Swift who's like a stunt driver and was he it was, Swift? yeah Swift he was burning it out and stuff like that so I sat in it and then I was going I want to drive one of these a few weeks later they pulled up with six and then we got to jump in bro man it was uh, it was good in the sense it was it was very uh, lots of adrenaline pumping mm. because the guys took us on the track the actual track yeah. like the Le Mans yeah. 24 oh, yeah. hour Le Mans yeah, they took us on the actual Le Mans track yeah, yeah. in so the we went, bullets yeah. went around the track on that one yeah. and um, although they couldn't really go too fast yeah. they had to keep a certain amount of distance between each other yeah. and stuff So, but it's still nice to have that experience and see what the drivers would yeah. go through that was sick yeah that uh, was sick on a normal race day yeah. so yeah so it was, that was yeah. a good experience yeah man and, and inside then, the car they've kind of like spec them out they've yeah, got these yeah. Recaro seats in them they've got like a different gear stick in them yeah 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 I don't know if it was in my head they sounded meatier but I think that might have just been like it sounded, it sounded, it sounded yeah. I think they sounded very similar yeah, yeah. Um, but no it was loud it was loud yeah yeah it was very loud sounded like a beast so a beast yeah and then, beast and, then the we got, and then we got to get in them and drive them yeah yeah over to the Hotel de France Hotel de France Hotel de France is it France or Paris Hotel de France I think it's Hotel de France because ah. it sounds like I remember we got to go into this hotel and I was like it sounds like an English person taking the mick out of a hotel like what hotel are you at yeah I'm at the Hotel de France bro uh, but yeah. yeah they gave us we, we got out of the automatic because this one that we're in now is an automatic and we got into like a six speed like a gear shift um, version and you know what I promise I'm going to put some noises of, of this car revving up and starting up at the end of this podcast. you have to I have to do it um, but yeah so um, we went to the Hotel de, Par- to de France are you look checking it now I'm trying to see yeah, yeah so I... the history behind this hotel is the drivers used to park their cars up and in the garages that are next to the hotel work on their cars have food and drinks and stuff and warm up their cars and race them down the road to Le Mans and we got to drive along some of that in this Mustang Bullet which was uh, took up Tommy for like wheel skidding out of the chateau in front of all the four yeah, people I think you're right, as well. Hotel de France Hotel de France yes um, yeah so we had six of those pulled up outside and that was turning a lot of heads as well uh, we're, we're still gassed at the moment and then the, the icing on the cake was when we pulled up outside the hotel parked up the car they said to us do you want to drive a Ford GT oi that so, was so it's not not many people can say they've driven a Ford GT yeah and people we got to drive them saying I heard you got near one yeah I heard you took a picture with one remember that guy he was like you wish <laughs> <laughs> we, we were like trying to record and talking yeah. about the car and the guy has popped up being like yeah you wish you drove it you wish yeah. like I've just driven it, mate. Just driven it. <laughs> so, what was the driving experience like for you? And for those who don't GT. know what the Ford GT is, yeah, because this isn't a supercar podcast. Like, what is the Ford GT? Ah, uh, it's it's a supercar. Yeah. Um, it's like it's got six fifty brake horsepower. Six fifty. Yeah. Six fifty. It does no to sixty in like two point nine seconds. Sick. And uh, they only made like the guy was saying like 1200 of them or something like that Shit, I can't remember rare. don't quote me on that one yeah. but about that much and they've all been sold they've yeah. all been sold you can't, you can't actually buy one unless you find one yeah. on Auto Trader second hand crazy yeah which is crazy and they're not going to be making them yeah not for a while anyway oh we're pulling pulling in so we've got a few more minutes to describe what happened but yeah oh yeah so we oh, drove yeah. it yeah. we uh it was really fast so we got it we've got to experience how quickly it goes off the line yeah. when you pull your foot down 
and you, we also got to experience the braking system, the ceramic braking uh, yeah. system, which is really good. Um, one thing I really liked about it is the seats are bolted down, so yeah. there's not a lot of electric in the yeah. car, it's yeah. bare minimal, and a lot of the car is just carbon fibre, so it's nice and light, Fast, but yeah. still secure and safe yeah. uh, as a car. Yeah. Um, it was such a good experience to drive it, man. Yeah. Like, there's nothing like it. Yeah, it was crazy. And, yeah. um, and also like like you said that braking system when it warmed up the ceramic brakes yeah, it yeah. stops on a die you, you like. could you we, we sped up up to like 60 miles per hour and slammed the brake on and he was he just stopped just stops yeah my so eyeballs like, slapped, yeah. the, slapped the windscreen I swear to God <laughs> um, and we got videos and stuff that we're going to be putting up on social media so make yeah. sure you check those too um, but yeah like get, do you know what was mad about me though I'm so glad that they took us around the corner to get in and out the GT because I'm tall <laughs> when I got in it's it, not the it, most it uh, was not sexy like for me if I'm honest, yeah, experience <laughs> I can't pull up at like an award ceremony in that car and try and wear a suit and get out of that because the suit will rip I'll be rolling all over the floor <laughs> Um, yeah it's crazy man but um, yeah such a sick car really good experience to drive it uh, and then we got to drive the Mustang Bullets back um, yeah back to the hotel yeah man the and shuttle one thing that all the Mustang Mustangs have that we, <laughs> we've managed to finally unlock and use because we couldn't really get it cracking on the bullet that, that was sick was uh, the line is it called what's it line lock what's it let's find out it's called line lock yeah line which lock which basically is burnout so it locks the front wheels and lets you do a little burnout and uh, we got that cracking, bro. Man, and that we is. left. Uh, we left our mark. We left Safe our mark. to say, we left our mark. Yeah, yeah there might be a little bit of tarmac missing uh, somewhere, somewhere in France. In France. <laughs> <laughs> you know we should yeah. have took, we should have taken a piece off that tarmac yeah just for a souvenir yeah I mean that is where potholes come from guys doing burnouts burnouts so it now. imagine yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah we got to do that and yeah man and then had a few drinks back at the chateau the chateau met yeah, some of the yeah. Ford guys that's right um, yeah and I, I mean I'm, I think Le Mans definitely an experience I'd like to do a bit of the camping side of it so I wouldn't mind a couple yeah. of days chateau I wouldn't mind going down to enjoy the vibe but the only thing is is you have to party there because I clocked it was so loud it's a 24 hour race yeah yeah you can't rest even if you're like we could hear it from the chateau and yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. 20 minutes drive away I'm not exaggerating that's so, right that's how loud it is yeah. so you, you, earplugs were everywhere you need yeah. you need earplugs yeah, uh, yeah otherwise it's crazy. You, could, you could damage your hearing being yeah, there man. the whole time yeah man but it's good man I feel like I learned a little bit about Ford yeah, I learned yeah. about Le Mans and yeah, um, yeah it, was, it, was a, it was a good vibe and the, the Mustang GT and I'm not saying it this ain't paid or anything like that this is us just going out for fun yeah, that's right yeah this I really like this car and like I was actually thinking do you know what I could I could get used to this I it's, could get used to this I mean I I like it yeah. but the, the it's so loud that I don't think I can live with that your neighbours will fucking hate you bro um, your neighbours will look at you I don't really care about the neighbours to be honest I don't care about the neighbours but it's, it's more for me like imagine yeah. driving this every day yeah. on a commute like yeah. you would eventually get annoyed I'm because yeah. back in the day my boy racer days I used to have a Peugeot 206 GTI 180 super and, boy uh, racer did you have the 6 by 9s in the back everything the everything <laughs> but like taking the exhaust taking yeah. the box out from the engine and having a straight exhaust bike from wow. the engine straight to the back yeah. that was loud yeah. and living with that was just too much that I had to put the middle box back in Okay. to, put to, to reduce wow. the noise a little bit but you could just put this on quiet mode <laughs> You could, but it's still got that constant, yes, got that, growl, growl, that growl, that all the time. Yeah. But and it will cost you a fortune just I think it's nipping uh, around London town. But for yeah. for long journeys though, for the drive, it's oh man, yeah. this is a lot. This Quite is a second car. Well. It's comfortable for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a second car, I think. Yeah, definitely. For me, if I was to get one, it's so a weekend second. roller, isn't it? Yeah, one man. that you put on the drive, you take out once a weekend. And one for track day, yeah, track days, day. that kind of stuff. It's good for the track as well. It literally is, isn't it? It's got track mode on it. You can flick through a few modes. What's let's flick through these now. I remember to turn them off. What's it got? For the track apps. Yeah, the tra it's got the track apps, but what's the mode? It's got normal. It's oh, yeah. Got, you can set your own mode, so you can set the heads up display how you want it. It's, it's got Sport Plus, track, race mode, so like drag strip mode, snow and wet, which kind of. Ford are kind of trying to make it easier for us to be in different environments in their cars and get yeah, away yeah, with it. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, some of the guys that were from Detroit were saying that it's like the weather's shit there, and they were saying that they have to use like snow and track mode. Uh, snow and ice mode sometimes on these cars and they do all right yeah, yeah but yeah man i'm glad that we got like a little bit more presence from ford from its mustang range in the uk man yeah man good look good it's look nice. it's not a smart car so if you're looking for a little car you can park anywhere in london this ain't the one for you this is wide big wide and loud but um yeah, yeah we like it man uh what else do we like about france 
Uh, wine was all right, innit? Wine was great. Wine was wine good. Was good. Yeah. Uh, food was good. Food was tasty. A lot of cheese. And the uh, service in the hotel was really good as well. Uh, yeah. We just had the... It's like a kitchen downstairs. Just help yourself to whatever you need. Do you like that better than, like... A hotel hotel Yeah it's better than a hotel It felt like we were like this Chilling in like, our yard If you need help yeah. If you needed help There's someone there If you yeah. want to Just help yourself Yeah It was good as well And the bed was comfortable Make a cup of tea yeah. Right so um, Before I play these badass I'm going to play A sound of this car starting up I'm going to play A sound of This car tearing around the track Because I think I've got Some audio for that And I'm going to Play a sound of The GT As well yeah. I'm going to find the sound of that Because that's naughty And play that all at the end Of the podcast But before that Where can everybody get in contact with you and find out what you're up to uh, I'm a gadgets boy gadget boy not gadget boy shout out to Mr Midas <laughs> that calls you that gadget boy that's your that's, that's your Jamaican that's kind my, of part yeah, isn't it yeah, gadget that's, boy that's my brother yeah uh, yeah I'm gadgets boy everywhere yeah gadgets boy on all social medias that's man. right uh, you've taken some really fucking sick pictures as well I took, I took I could take credit for one good photo of you for real for real yeah it was, it was a good, good one man. yeah good yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll be dropping video content as well um, I think you're going to do some stuff around the bullet and the whole experience yeah it's well, going to yeah. be about the whole experience yeah, like the whole, whole experience. mini vlog really yeah, yeah it should be good yeah that would be cool I think I'm going to do something like that and then I might cover a bit of this car as well because nice. just we've been in it a lot and yeah, it's cool yeah, yeah. So nice, um, nice look. but it does need a wash now though because we've killed all the flies in France on the way back the windscreen, <laughs> windscreen looks like it's been painted with flies it's, yeah, it's, yeah it looks mad anyway uh, we've landed now in uh, in Folkestone so we've got to get off soon um, but yeah thank you for killing some time with us uh, I've been Marcus Bronzy at Marcus B-R-O-N-Z-Y on all social medias this is How to Kill an Hour How to Kill an Hour on all social medias click the link in the show description and you can sign up to our newsletter where we'll let you know how we've been killing time and we'll also send you links to this video when it's out too man plenty of ways to kill some time out there thank you for killing some time with us 